Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest star in the highly anticipated film, Black and Blue, the story of a rookie cop who inadvertently captures the murder of a young drug dealer on her body cam. Quad recently caught up with the cast members, Academy Award winning nominee Naomi Harris and Nafisa Williams. Take a look. I am so happy to be here with the stars of Black and Blue, Naomi Harris and Nafisa Williams. My God, you guys are on the cusp of something absolutely amazing. You, my dear, are making history, <laughs> let me say that, <laughs> the first African-American female to play the lead as a police officer. That's to right. me, this seems, it, it, it seems like it's so, foreign. I think this should have happened way before now. I think it should, but it just shows how much Hollywood is changing and things are opening up yeah. now and yeah. roles that weren't available to us before and now yeah. available to us. So we're going to see all kinds of firsts in yeah. history being made. I that love minute. that. Yeah. I love that. Now let's talk a little bit about the movie, the premise of the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, it's surrounding uh, a murder, yes. of course, and uh, a police officer. Mm -hmm. And the police officer, actually the body cam of the police officer, yeah actually captures the murder. Yes. But who conducts the murder? Mm. Fellow police officers. Mm. That's the thing. So I'm the rookie cop and I capture on my body camera my fellow officers murdering a kid. Wow. And uh, they want the footage. So basically they give me a kind of ultimatum. Well, it, afterwards they do. But really I have no choice. I have to go on the run in order to upload the footage and get their corruption exposed. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a huge position to play. Yeah. And, and I, and I got to believe, you know, at playing in that, that character, you were probably torn. You know, do you go with, you know, your oath that you took with the rest of the police officers yeah. or do you stand for what's right? Well, interestingly, my character is not really torn because she really is so clear in her conviction. She's really the moral compass of the movie. <laughs> and she knows from the very beginning that this is wrong and she's going to stand up for what is right. Mm -hmm. But where she is torn is because the black community that she grew up in reject her because they see her, her as a kind of traitor because she's joined the police force. Right. So right. she's rejected by her own police force because obviously she's got the footage mm -hmm. and then she's rejected by the community that raised her. So it's a really yeah. tricky position. It, it's really long suffering for her to, it, to be honest yes. with you. And she won't really yeah. become validated until pretty much the end of the film. That's right. Nafisa, so tell me exactly what compelled you to be a part of this film? Well, when I read the script, I knew I had to be a part of it. I, I love being a part of projects that are going to help shift the culture, yeah. that are going to, you know, make history by, you know, being opposite of someone who's going to play the first black w police officer, mm -hmm. a woman who's playing that role. So for me, it was like a no brainer. It's also, it resonates with what we're seeing in our in our country right now. So for me as an actor, that's my duty to tell these stories. It's my duty to use the platform mm -hmm. to hopefully spark change. So yeah. I, I love Dion's work. I've been a fan of his work. So it was, and then they told me that I'd be opposite yeah. of, of this lady. <laughs> and I was like, it's done, I'm, I'm in, so right. yeah. So where exactly, and this is for the both of you, where exactly did you have to go within to evoke the emotion of what's really happening in this movie? Or did you just simply turn to today's headlines? For me, it was yeah. simply turning to today's headlines. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, I think so often people think that what's happening in the UK is drastically different from what's happening in the US. Absolutely. But actually, we have the Black Lives Matter movement. Really? We have unexplained um, deaths of black men, particularly yeah. in, in police custody, and there hasn't been a single arrest for any black death that's occurred in police custody ever. Wow. Ever. Mm. So um, we have the same situations and, and it's easy, you know, we are outraged and uh, devastated by all the losses that have occurred. And so it's, it's not hard, I didn't, I didn't find, to find those kind of emotions and empathy and compassion and rage as well. At all. Yeah, no, for me, I needed an outlet. I'm over it. I'm over feeling hopeless. I'm over feeling like this is just happen happening to us. And when I say us, I, the, the black culture, mm -hmm. just because of Absolutely. us being black. So for me, it was really, really easy to tap into and let some of those emotions out. As you can imagine, I believe we become desensitized just scrolling through our timeline and it's like up oh, another one, another mm -hmm. one. Yeah. And I'm sick of it. So yeah. I was really happy to, to give my emotions over yeah. to this film. And just being from Philly, growing up in the inner city, yeah. you know, dealing with issues within the police department and seeing friends having to go through issues and, you know, interactions with the police that end up horrific. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's real life experience you just put into it. My God. Yeah. Well, we will have more when we return. You don't want to miss it. Stay right there. Hey. 
You look like hell. Where's your ride at? It's a long story. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's get you out of here. Are you injured? Come on, we got you. Brody, we found West. We got her. He's a second in the new. It's all right. We got you. West, hey, don't be stupid, West. All he wants is the body cam. That was a clip of the movie Black and Blue, yes. which opens nationwide today. And we are joined right now with the director of the movie, Dion Taylor. Yes, I'm Thanks on Thanks for being cycle. here. Woo! With my sisters. Yes, you are. Yes, you with are. With my sisters. We are so pleased to have you here. And, 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 and as I spoke with him earlier, this is something that we actually see every single day and has now become what's been the overriding culture of what's happening yeah. in America. Why was it so important for you to take it to the big screen? You know, I, the, the script was amazing, first off. I thought, you know, what an interesting film. And obviously, I was really, really taken uh, by the fact that it's the first time we've ever seen an African-American female lead as a cop. Absolutely. So that, that was when I originally jumped in. Yeah. Uh, but when I started reading the script more, and my head went crazy, because I'm crazy, um, <laughs> I just was like, man, this is, this is polarizing. Yeah. It's interesting like to be able to live in these different worlds and yeah. see the conflict between black and blue. And you know, ever since I was little, I could just remember like being in the car with my mom and the police pulled behind us, and it's like everybody got to sit straight, don't yeah. move, you know, everybody reaching for the seatbelt. I'm like, I mean, we, we've been living in fear. Yeah. And I don't know why it's like that. Yeah. And, I, and, and when the movie came and the script came, I was the first time I really, just as a black man said, Dion, you need to, let's look at why this is like that. You know what I mean? Let's, why, why is it generational? I mean, literally, we're programmed we to do are. that. It's like, and, turn, and, the, turn the turn music look, down. And I'm a big dude. I walk down the, the street, if a cop is coming that way, I go the other way. Straight you up. still do that to I this day. I still like, or you tense up a little bit, or you like, I hope he don't. Yeah. And and that's a, that's terrible. Yeah. But but but, it's, isn't it in a sense almost like a level of inferiority? Yeah. Is, is what we have been stricken with as an African American community. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's systemic. Um, what ultimately happens a lot of times is, um, like I said, it's generational. Like my mom, you know what I mean? And just little, these things are taught to us, mm -hmm. and and it just becomes part of the regular everyday routine for us as a culture. Right. And what I think is so dynamic about the movie is it basically explores that with the black female police officer. Absolutely. And she basically says she's going to be different than that. And she absolutely yeah. is. Congrats to you and your character. Yes, I should jump out of this seat right you. now. I'm telling you. I'm happy. But <laughs> Sorry, I'm so sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Sister Circle, I'm sorry. But, but, but listen, like, honestly, I really want to just dive a little bit deeper because here, it's, it's not like, uh, you know, black on black crime or no. anything. We've seen that. Uh, this truly is a, a good police cop mm. versus bad police officers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just the, the level of turmoil within itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and then now your character is going to be ostracized for that. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, she's fighting for change. That's what's happening inside the movie. Mm -hmm. And that's what needs to happen inside of the real world, right? Basically, the reality is integrity, yeah. being human. Yes. When do we go back to basically being regular people? So the reality is now, boom, you're a cop, you go around the back of someone's house, you shoot in the window, you kill someone, I'm behind you with my body cam rolling. The right answer is not for me to turn my camera off and look at you and go, what we gonna say? Correct. <laughs> the Correct. right answer. The right answer. Me leave my camera and be like, "Yo, man, you just messed up." Right. And you killed somebody, mm -hmm. and you shouldn't have did that on the job. And I'm sorry. I love you, but I'm not finna cover that up for you. Right. And that's what the that's what needs to happen right now in the real world. And there is a black and a blue. <clears throat> and what the Naomi Harris character is basically doing in the film is she's saying that line needs to be blurred. Mm -hmm. Period. Yes. No more question. If you want me to come, to, if you call 911. I should hope that you come to my house and help me. Yes. Not run my license and say, oh, you got a felon and you and I now I'm arrested. You, you know? And, and mm -hmm. we explore that in the movie. And I think a lot of people that are seeing the film, we've been all over the world, including London. Oh yeah. yeah. And I was just blown away by everyone's response, like, yo, this is crazy. So you're getting the ride, you're getting the, the, the electricity, you're going crazy in the right. theater. But when it's over, we that's have what to you, remember that it's yeah, real. Yeah, but you have to have a conversation yeah. about like what are we going to do community-wise to actually change this narrative? Right, oh, right. Yes. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure to have all of you here with us today. Yeah. This is a circle. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>
Wow. My God. Oh my it was God. amazing to yes. just sit down with them. And I am so proud of Dion Taylor for bringing yes. this to the forefront, bringing it to the masses. And I truly hope we all turn out just like we did in Black Panthers, watching going. Black Panthers. Yes. You know? Absolutely. Uh, but listen, it was great tonight. The movie opens, okay, it's on 11, okay? Yeah, I didn't right. see the man give me the, the, the piece. But tonight, go see the movie. Please be sure to go see Black and Blue. And, of course, the conversations always continue on all social media platforms at Sister Circle TV.